Good evening and welcome to An Order for Compline. We will be using the Book of Common Prayer starting on page 127. So let's take a moment, have a deep breath. The day is over and we can prepare ourselves for our final worship for the day. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This evening, I will read Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. I have a, a reflection I would like to read to you. This is from the Society of St. John the Evangelist. This is a writing a newsletter from Brother Jeffrey Tristram, um, and they have kindly given their permission for me to share this with you. A few days ago, I was driving through Logan Airport and noticed a British Airways airplane taking off for London. I so wanted to be on that plane. In normal times, I am not always longing to fly away, but during this pandemic, Knowing I can't go to England makes me long to go more and more, which then makes me feel unhappy. It is so easy, I think, during these days of confinement to focus our attention on all those attractive things which we can't now do or can't now have. And this can fill us with regret or longing, which makes us feel unhappy. I think that is why so much of Christian prayer and spirituality is concerned precisely with drawing our attention away from these yearnings and always back to the present moment, which is where Christ is and where we can see and celebrate in a new way just how rich and blessed our lives are now, today. The French writer Marcel Proust wrote, with great insight, the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeing new landscapes, but in having new eyes. 
Perhaps this time of confinement could be for each one of us an invitation to an exciting voyage of discovery, to see our lives again with new eyes, and no need to leave the house. Right now, our lives are probably circumscribed and bounded in ways we have never known before. We can't fly off to see our family and friends, or just for fun. We can't go to restaurants and go shopping in the ways we used to. But could these apparent confinements, these bounds, which at first feel so frustrating and can make us unhappy, could they, in fact, be gateways into larger life? In the monastic tradition, boundaries and enclosures were never meant for confinement, but the very opposite. Just as a frame is necessary to give meaning and integrity to a painting, so boundaries, apparent constraints, in our own lives can help us see those lives in a new light and in greater depth. The great Welsh poet R.S. Thomas expressed this eloquently in his poem, Gift. Some ask the world and are diminished in the receiving of it. You gave me only this small pool that the more I drink from, the more overflows me with sourceless light. Give thanks for your small pool. A friend of mine lives in Manhattan and is surrounded on every side with the allures of consumerism and the temptations to acquire more and more. How do you keep centered and still amidst such an environment? I asked. He pointed to a large canvas above the fireplace in his sitting room. Written across the canvas in beautiful calligraphy were three words spoken by the Vietnam monk Thich Nhat Hanh. You have enough. Continuing with the versicles and responses on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, tem lead us not into temptation, Deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace of you as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a peaceful night, and as always, keep calm and remain faithful. Good night.